Well, the title of today's devotional is Watch, Make Ready Before It Is Too Late. It's taken from our scripture reading for the day, which is Matthew chapter 25. Now, the Lord is continuing his discourse on the Mount of Olives in Matthew 25, and Jesus teaches three parables the parable of the ten virgins, the parable of the talents, and also the parable of the sheep and the goats. Now, Matthew 25, verses 1 through 13, will be the focus of this devotional, and that is the parable of of the ten virgins. And Jesus reveals to his disciples the signs that would mark the close of the great tribulation and precede his coming. Now, understanding that the Lord's return would be sudden, the parable of the ten virgins emphasized the need to be ready and looking for Christ to come. Now, to understand the parable, let's take a moment and identify its symbolisms. First of all, there's the bridegroom, which is Jesus Christ. Now, the ten virgins represent professing believers, some who are genuine and sincere believers, and others who are not. And now, they're waiting on the coming of the groom. Now, the groom is Jesus Christ who is coming for his bride. Now, these ten virgins each have uh, lamps. And those lamps really are symbolic of each of their lives. And the oil for the lamps is the Holy Spirit. Now, as you read the scriptures in Matthew 25, you're going to find that five of the virgins were wise because they had oil for their lamps. And five were foolish because they did not have oil for the lamps. Now, remember... The lamp represents their life, and the oil represents the Holy Spirit in their life. Five had oil, five did not have oil. Now, we find this parable then, ten virgins who are waiting on the coming of the bridegroom, and that is Jesus Christ. Outwardly, they are appropriately dressed, and we've learned earlier that uh, the groom would provide uh, for the wedding uh, clothes that were appropriate for that formal occasion. Now, the difference in the wise and the foolish virgins then was not their dress, but the provision of oil for their lamps. The foolish virgins came to meet the groom. However, they had failed to make provision to have oil for the lamps. The wise virgins came as well. However, they had oil. The oil represented the Holy Spirit for their lamps, and they waited in anticipation of the coming of the groom. Now, they did not know when the groom would come, like we do not know when Jesus Christ will come. And so they waited, and the Lord appeared to delay his coming. And so those virgins fell asleep. Well, at midnight, they were awakened by a loud cry. And the loud cry said this, Matthew 25, verse 6, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out, to meet him. Well, the bride, uh, the virgins rising from their sleep to meet the groom, they began to trim, or that is cut, the wicks of their lamps that would be soaked in oil. Well, the foolish virgins, however, realized too late that they had failed to acquire oil for their lamps. And so they began to plead with the wise virgins, give us some of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. Well, the wise virgins, knowing they had only enough oil for themselves, refused the request of the foolish virgins. Their denial was not out of callousness, but because they only had enough oil for themselves. Again, the oil represents the indwelling of the Holy Spirit in a believer's life. Now, the wise urged the foolish to go. Go out into the night, purchase oil, acquire oil for yourselves. And sadly, the foolish virgins soon realized it was too late, and the sellers of oil had closed their shops. The bridegroom appeared while the foolish virgins were away, and he invited the wise virgins, the ones with oil in their lamps, to join him. And then he shut the door. Well, the foolish virgins returned to the wedding. They found the door of the house was closed, and they begged urgently, Lord, Lord, open to us. Their pleadings had come too late, however, and the groom answered them, I know you not. You see, the five virgins were foolish. 
not because of the company they kept. They were in the presence of sincere believers whose lamps were filled with oil, representing the Holy Spirit. And those wise virgins were watching and waiting for the Lord to come. But the foolish virgins were insincere in their profession. They had not prepared their hearts by trusting the Lord for their salvation and lacked oil, the Holy Spirit, indwelling their souls. A friend, I close today with a thought. There is an overriding truth that is the subject of this parable, and it is found in the concluding verse. In Matthew 25, verse 13, Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man, that is Jesus Christ, cometh. I ask you today, have you placed your faith in Jesus Christ? Is He your Savior? If He is, you have oil in your lamp, the Holy Spirit fills your soul. But if you're like the foolish virgins of this parable, you are risking your life and eternity. You can wait on the Lord if, it, if you do not know Him. You do not have oil in your lamp. If you come to Christ too late, the entrance to His presence will be blocked. I close challenging you. Watch. Be ready. Be prepared for the Lord is coming. And we know not the day nor the hour. Are you ready for his coming?